so it is the third week day 21 and tomorrow is the big activity event that I was talking about that it's not even that big of a deal I mean it is but I don't know I just don't think I can go I don't think I can do it you know I went dress shopping today and I hated everything but I got a dress and it's just not <laughs> I don't know it's just not me I guess you know it's just not me and I have to be self-sufficient you know when I go to these types of things I can't nobody's gonna be able to help me you know I feel like I'll be on an island by myself out there um it's just different you know my mom won't be there my sister won't be there and I know I'm almost 46 and I shouldn't need them to be at activities but right now I do right now I do I just feel like I need their support tomorrow you know they would be sitting there talking to me and hanging out with me and you know keeping me from myself sometimes we need somebody who can save us from ourselves and I mean my daughter's going and she probably could actually she's not gonna want me to not go you know pay for that dress today but I don't know it's like it's been three weeks and I'm still just getting to the point where I'm going to the mall or <laughs> going to a restaurant or something and now this dress shopping was terrible it was just terrible and it's like the lady who was working there was so sweet and I found the dress and I put a cardigan on and she was it came with like there was a cardigan right there with it you know and she was just saying she gave it to me at first and then I was putting it on and she told me to take it off I didn't need it but I disagreed with her she was like wait until you're you know wait for 20 more years when you'll need that and I'm just like 20 more years you mean 20 more minutes right 20 years I'll be almost 66 I better not be wearing a cardigan <laughs> I don't know it's like I feel better just making a decision not to go there's too much anxiety about going it really is and there shouldn't be you know I shouldn't feel like this going to a family activity you know I don't know. I have to think about it, I guess. I have to think about it. But it's in the morning, you know. I haven't worn the dress. I could take it back. It wasn't on sale. <laughs> I'm sure Dillard takes everything back, right? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Normally, I know that I need to just be self-sufficient when I go places. My confidence always has to come from me. Even if they're like, oh, you you look pretty. Like, I, I don't... You know, it doesn't mean anything to me. It, sh it doesn't mean anything to me. I feel like people are being nice or maybe they think that, but I don't know. It doesn't matter, you know? I have to think it. And I think, I do think I'm pretty and all of that, but it's like, I don't like the dress that much. And just shopping was just, you know, I don't know. I think if I had more time, I would have picked out something else or gone somewhere else, but... I didn't have more time to make to find something else, so this is what I have, and I don't know. I don't know. I wish that. <laughs> I wish it wasn't this way. I wish it wasn't this way. I really do. You know, it's only been 21 days though since I made this decision, and I feel like it's baby steps. That's a huge step. It's not a baby step. It's a huge step. It's a huge step in a direction without. You know, it's like I'm so, I'm still dealing with all of this. So it's a huge step in the direction without any, without any real support or like, you know, to hold you up, you know, if you fall, like I'm going to be so uncomfortable when I get there, you know, I don't know. I, don't know. I will be uncomfortable though when I get there, I'm going to be anxious in the car going there. And then once we get there, uncomfortable. So I don't know. Is it worth it? Should I just do it anyway because it's not about me? Or do I think it's going to cause me more harm than good? 
you know, am I going to be there ruining everyone else's time? Which is what I feel like is going to happen. I feel like I'm going to ruin everybody else's time. At least the people who came with me, <laughs> who's going with me. Their time will be ruined because one of them is all about, you know, appearances, I think, sometimes. And my daughter, she's great, but I just don't want to put her in that situation either. You know, I want her to go and have a good time. But I don't even know if she's going to go if I don't go. <laughs> she found out her siblings weren't going, so she was barely going to still go. And now if I don't go, then I don't know. But I can just stay home and work tomorrow and be fine, you know. There'll be other activities, and if not, am I going to feel bad about it? <sighs> I will. <laughs> I will feel bad about missing it. I'll feel bad about missing my nephew's art show. I don't want to miss that. But I don't know. I feel like maybe if I take some <laughs> drugs or something <laughs> to calm me down, you know. That's when people take medications and they don't stay in the house, you know, to help them while they're trying to make these transitions. Maybe I need the help to make that transition. It's probably seems so silly, you know, but this is just what I'm going through right now. You know, I still need my cane, which I don't really care about the cane that much, you know. You ever just feel like you're around, I don't know, these, there are people sometimes you're around them and you feel like they can't wait for you to fail. They can't wait to see you in a bad place, which... Who cares about that? But I don't need their negative energy around me when I'm trying to deal with this. I just don't know. Ugh. I don't know. I feel like if I had a counselor, a therapist, what would the therapist say? Therapist would say, Hillary, do you want to go? I can give you something. Actually, a therapist probably would have given me medicine already. They always, they're always trying to give somebody medication. And I don't really feel like I need medication all the time. You know, I just think I need baby steps. I think I need baby steps. And I don't know if there is a person that, you know, I don't know. I need to do some more MS support groups, maybe, you know. Maybe that's what I need to do. Because <laughs> trying to do this, just, you know, it's good to talk about it. And I thought I would talk about this and feel stupid and be like, Hillary, you should just go. And But I just can't pretend. I cannot pretend. I thought about just going and acting confident and doing that. But that's just not, I can't act confident. I can't act happy, pretend to be sad, pretend to care when I don't care, pretend not to care when I do care. I just don't feel like I have that in me. Some people can just go and be the pretend and be all like, hey, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I just can't do that. I don't know. I've tried it so many times. And I've tried it in smaller occasions. And I just feel like, I don't know, my body just won't let me do it. <sighs> I don't know. It's 21 days. It's not enough. That's not enough days pass for such a big task. I think I'm asking too self too much of myself or asking too much of someone else right now i would be asking too much of someone else right now you know i just don't know if i can do that i don't know if they're up to the to the challenge because like when we get there to be a completely different story it's like i've never had to ask this because i know that in the past it's not that i never had to ask it it's that they don't understand it so if you don't understand something, sometimes people don't understand things and they don't know how to help you. They don't know how to be empathetic, you know, because they haven't experienced it. So. Hmm. 21 days and. Of course, I'm not over this. I mean, I feel like I've made some huge strides, you know, I'm showering, standing up now, which is great. I still, you know, I'm still working on walking for longer than four minutes without a cane, which I don't need to right now. I mean, I'm working on it, but it's not like I can leave the cane at home and go to the store. It's just fine. I just may be uncomfortable, but it's not impossible. If I had to run, I'm sure I could still run. My body would just 
collapse once I got somewhere, but I was still running. So I feel like I've gotten to the point where I'm looking in the mirror, I'm preparing myself to do things, make videos for my job, you know. I still haven't bought any other clothes, but I don't even know what clothes to buy. You know, before, <laughs> for the Peach Tree Road Race, I bought the best outfit from Lululemon. And it was a great day. It was really cute, but I can't fit it now. <laughs> I just like wearing those types of clothes. Those are my favorite. They're so comfortable. So, I mean, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to keep moving forward, though. I just have to be ready for little setbacks like this. And that's kind of a big, like, I think it's a big step. And it wouldn't be that bad if I had, if I felt like I was, if I was going to have that support I needed to go. Like, my daughter might not go, like I said. And if she does go, I mean, she's got her own things with her grandparents. No, not really. But <laughs> she would be spending time with me, so... I'll talk to her about it and see what she says, actually. I'll see what she thinks about it. I'll see. But keep moving forward is my mantra, pretty much. I got a tattooed on my arm. It's upside down, but it's fine, I'm sure. It's not a big deal. It says keep moving forward. And I got it from the movie Meet the Robinsons. I love that movie. It's so great. And every time they made a mistake or something didn't work they just said keep moving forward keep moving forward keep moving forward and i just liked it and it's so perfect for ms you know you gotta have a short memory because you gotta be ready to do the next thing and go to the next place and pick yourself back up after a relapse or something you know just gotta keep moving forward and it's seeing the future and not actually not thinking about the past you know which is hard but that's what I've been working on not thinking about the past and and I don't feel like I'm thinking about the past I think I'm trying to be in the present but I'm just having confidence issues anxiety but I think it's getting better it's just taking time to get better because I've never had to do it I think I have I've had that before after having kids you know I have been to places, been to that point where I haven't felt confident, you know, but I just picked myself back up and it was different, you know, I pick, I'm picking myself up now, but it's going to take longer. It's just going to take longer. What's the lie? This is a year, not three weeks. Like people say, 21 days to break a habit or create a habit. The habit I've created is making videos, I guess, talking to myself and hopefully, you know, watching them and realizing like man I've come a long way and that's really what I'm ready to say I've come a long way but I don't want to rush my life I don't want to rush the year I don't want to rush it I just want to get there when I can and my way I guess <laughs> with the cat back there in the window she's so cute that's Tyga you see her face right there she's right there in the window hey Tyga it's a pretty cat. But that's really cute for being the window back there. Yeah. I'm going to get there. I just got to figure out tomorrow. I just don't know if I can do it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I have to just think about it and see what I think, what I decide. The dress, like I said, I can go back to the store. And that's another thing about the dress. It's like, you know, you can't. I, I knew I wasn't going to be able to hide in there, hide in a dress, but I thought a dress would help me hide a little more. You know, I don't want to like a tight anything, nothing tight on my body that would be uncomfortable. So I did think I could find a dress so I could hide a little better. But they just don't make dresses that well these days, you know? You gotta really, I guess I just needed to spend more time shopping. But malls are weird these days better shopping online probably but I just didn't think I was gonna go and then when I decided to go it was last minute and now I'm deciding not to go I don't know <sighs> well that's all for now <laughs>